Like almost every month we have a baby leave, losing their life and it gets younger and younger and younger. When is it going to stop? An outpouring of outrage and sorrow following the shooting death of a one-year-old boy. It happened yesterday near 33rd and South Benton. Police say someone walked up firing into a car with the little boy and his parents inside. They then drove to a nearby fire station to get help, but it was too late. KCTV 5's Nathan Vickers is live with the latest on the investigation and the reaction from anti-violence groups in Kansas City. Nathan? Brad, this is the street where everything happened yesterday, and if, if you look behind me at this driveway, you can uh, see the area where police were searching, marking off shell casings and that sort of thing. Uh, police told us today that the little boy was named Tyrone Patton, Payton. Uh, neighbors told us he lived somewhere on this street with his family. Today, pastors and anti-violence groups from across the city gathered to hand out flyers asking for information. There's a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. But in a historically violent year in Kansas City, they're also angry. Listen to some of the things they told us today. This incident happened during the middle of the day. Seems like almost every month we have a baby leave, losing their life and it gets younger and younger and younger. We have to stand up as a community and say enough is enough. This is just unconscionable. We've reached a point where the level and the escalation of violence is just unacceptable. I, I believe it's time for Kansas City to step up. It shouldn't even take the death of a little small child for us to come together. I'm just uh, heartbroken. This little boy will have the full power of the community and the full power of KCPD. We're coming after you and we're going to get you. Strong words there from KCPD and the Kansas City Fire Department was there as well. Coming up at five, uh, they shared with us the story of one of the firefighters who tried to save that little boy's life. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, a lot of pain and frustration in those words, too. Nathan, thank you. Well, Kansas City Police Department and Crime Stoppers tell KCTV 5 they have no tips in the child's death right now. So if you know anything about this case, please call police or the tips hotline. That number's on your screen right now. It's 816 816- 474 TIPS. And remember, you can be anonymous, and if your tip leads to an arrest, you could get a reward of up to $25,000.